welcome back to another video hope you're all doing great thank you so much guys for coming back my name is Cynthia if you're watching me for the first time you're welcome to the family and to my returning subscribers you guys are the best I love you guys so into this video I'm gonna be showing us how to make this kaftan dress or rouch kaftan this is the fabric I'm gonna be using so I have three and a half yards of uh, flower satin fabric here the first thing we're going to do is to spread our fabric on the table so I'm going to fold the fabric into two so I fold my fabric into two this way I'll go ahead and fold it again like so so I have my fabric folded into four and I went ahead and used pin to hold the fabric down because it's slippery the length of my booboo is 63 inches plus sewing allowance going to be making use of this whole part so this side is 30 inches you don't want it too long you want to cut out some parts from that side it's up to you you just measure it right from your back midpoint to where you want it to be i'll be making use of 29 or 30 inches right from the back midpoint so we have 30 inches here yeah? so i'll be making use of 29 inches and use one inch for sewing allowance we we'll go ahead and then place the neckline i'll be taking three and a half inches for the neck width that's the wideness of the neck. I'll mark 1.5 inches for the back depth. The back is round neck. I'll be taking 6.5 inches for the front depth. The front is a V neckline. So we connect the back neckline. Then connect the front one. So I will go to this side and mark 1.5 inches for shoulder slope. I will connect the shoulder slope to the neckline. I'll go ahead and cut it out. I will first cut out the back neckline. I'll be cutting out the front neckline later on. So we bring the front neckline out and cut it out. So I'll bring the front part out. So guys, this is the front panel. I will be adding a strap here, the midpoint. I will sew it on the wrong side. So we are going to use this to create the channel for the rope. We're going to be adding two ropes to it. Before we join the shoulders and the side together, I would like to attach this first. So I will turn the front part to the wrong side. This is the wrong side. I will look for the midpoint and attach this there. So this is exactly the length of the dress. The wideness is a two and a half inches. To have a neat work, I will fold this inside. I will stitch a quarter of an inch on both sides. A quarter of an inch, a quarter of an inch. After stitching it, I will be left to two inches. So what I'm going to do is to place this here. I will use my facing to turn the neckline before attaching it. So that is why I'm shifting it back a little bit. I will go down by half inch. The back still remain the same. I'm only adding this to the front part. So what I'm going to do is to use a quarter of an inch to stitch this side all the way to the damp part and use a quarter of an inch to stitch this side. After I've done that, I will stitch the mid part here. So I'm going to be making three lines here. The first one is to hold this side down. The second one is this side to hold it down. And I'll be adding one to the middle part here. So I'll be adding two ropes to the front side. 
That is why I'm adding this stitch to the mid part. Well, this is one of the rope. I cut out about 70 inches because I want it to be longer than the dress. The wideness is 2 inches. So I'm going to stitch it like this. I will take here, take here, and turn it inside. I will make it very tiny so it can go through the channel. So I will cut out two of these 70 inches. Because one will be on this side and the other one will be on this side. So I will just stitch this side, stitch and stitch the middle. I will leave here open at the moment. I will be stitching this place up later on after attaching the rope. I will use uh, my facing to turn the front and the back neckline. So this is the facing. I just cut out two stripes, stitch them together here to form a V shape. I will be using this to turn the front neckline. I will make sure right side are facing each other. I will make it like so. I will use a quarter of an inch to stitch it and turn it to the other side. I will sit on the back neckline. I will do this before attaching the stripe to the wrong side. I will finish adding the black um, stripe to the front part. So this is the wrong side. I have also used the facing to turn the neckline. So these are the two ropes. See how tiny they are. I'm going to be inserting these later on. So what we are going to do is to join the front and the back together. I will join the shoulders first. After I've done that, and I will come back for us to join the side. So this is the back. I will lay them against each other, right side facing right side. I will use half inch to join the shoulders, both sides. After that, we'll join the side. We so guys, I finished joining the shoulders together. So I've marked up some lines here. What we are going to do next is to join the front and the back together. So this is the front side. We're not going to be sewing it on the wrong side. So we're going to be stitching it right on this right side. So this is the midpoint. It will give me guideline. So I will mark 10 or 11 inches right from the shoulder. Marking 10 inches, I just add 1 inch to it to make it a little bit free. So I marked 11 inches here. So this is 11 inches, that's the bust line or chest line. So I will mark the waist line which is 17 and a half inches. From the waist to the hip is 8 and a half inches. I will mark 8 and a half inches here. So I will connect the lines together. So what we are going to do is to place the circumference measurement. Right on this 11 inches here, that's the bust line. I will mark a quarter of the bust measurement here. The bust measurement is 44 inches divided by 4 is 11 inches. So I mark 11 inches. I'm going to be adding 1 inch for ease. If you like, you can add 1 or half inch for ease. I will just add 1 inch for ease. I will place 12 inches here. So this is 12 inches. I will go to the waistline, mark a quarter of her waist measurement here. A quarter of the waist measurement is nine and a half inches. I will add just half inch for ease right on this waistline here. So I'm marking 10 inches instead of nine and a half inches. I added just half inch for ease. This is the hip measurement. I will mark a quarter of the hip measurement here. A quarter of the hip measurement is 11 and a half inches. I will add one inch for ease, that's 12 and a half inches. So this is the midpoint. I'm taking it right from the midpoint here. Alright, this is 12 and a half inches. So go ahead and uh, you just connect the lines. You just connect it from the bust to the waist, from the waist to the hip. And from the hip, I will just bring it down to the down part. So I will still mark 12 and a half inches all the way to the down part. That's the hip measurement. I'm using pin to hold the fabric down. So this is the bottom part. It's already free. If you like, you can just stitch it up to here and leave it 3 inches here open. You will still do the same thing for this side. So that's it, I will go ahead and stitch it. 
So I will stitch it right from the bust line all the way to the bottom part. I will do the same thing for this side. So I will go ahead and stitch it right on the right side. After I've done that, I will use one inch to hem the side and use one inch to hem the bottom part. So guys, I finished stitching the side. I stitch it right from the right from the bust line here all the way to the waistline. So right from the waistline, I open it up like a line. I did not make it fitted, so I make it very free. This side, I did the same thing for this side. I came down about three inches from the waistline. From there, I open it up like a line all the way to the bottom side. The dress is fitted at the waistline, so I noticed there is a belt, inner belt inside. That is the front part. I think I've done such video in this channel. So what I did was to add belt to it. I will turn it to the wrong side and explain everything to you guys. So this is the belt. This is the front side. So I did this before stitching them together. I cut out about a 30 inches belt. 30 inches on this side and 30 inches on the side. The wideness is 5 inches. I folded it into two, stitch it on one side and turn it inside out. I measured right from the shoulder to the waistline, which is 17 inches. So I marked the 17 inches here and placed the circumference waistline, which is 19 inches. Yeah, so this is 19 inches. Right on the waistline here, I stitch one belt on this side and one on the other side. So this will give it a little bit fitting. After putting it on, you will knot it, you will take it to the back side. This side is free. The arm opening is free. You will check your two hands inside. Take it and knot it to the back side. Let me turn it to the right side. This dress is for a client. I'm not going to be putting it on. So this is the belt. After putting it on, you just tuck your hand inside and they belt it to the back side. Do you remember we created a, a case here? So this is the rope. What we are going to do is to insert the rope into this um, case or channel we created earlier. I've already done this side. So I'll pass through the bottom part. So we insert it into the channel. As you can see, it's going fully because the rope is very tiny. If you're creating yours, you make sure the case you're creating is wide enough to accommodate your rope. I'll take it to the upper part. I'll pass it through the neckline here. That's the upper part. So make sure I secure these before stitching them together. So I've already done this side, pull it from this bottom part to how you want it. So what I'm going to do is to stitch this side. I will stitch the rope here together. I will secure the rope here. So I look. So this is the bottom part. After pulling it, you knot this part. So as you can see, this side is a bit longer than the dress itself. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, Please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you get to know whenever I upload new video. Thank you so much, guys. I will see you in my next one. Love you all. Bye.